I was really heartened at COFO 26 to see that despite the regional differences uh, regarding the opportunities and challenges that face member countries, uh, that there was a significant amount of common interest uh, across the key issues that, that, that face forests and, and our planet, including biodiversity, climate mitigation and adaptation, sustainable jobs and economic opportunities, and also increased decision-making participation and benefits for Indigenous peoples. So I, I thought those those messages and those themes came out really strongly in, in COFO 26. It was a really interesting session, uh, great discussion, and I was very happy to be part of it. It's also my pleasure to provide a brief overview of the 31st session of the North American Forestry Commission meeting, which took place virtually uh, between the 17th and 19th of November in 2021, uh, hosted by Mexico. The NAFC, as you know, is comprised of only three member countries, making consensus relatively consistent across our more than 50 years of collaboration. Common priorities conveyed to FAO for the North American region, uh, all through a climate lens, included strengthening fire management and suppression capacity, uh, in, in particular uh, cross-regional training within and between different regions, the role of urban forests in helping community resilience to climate change, Avoiding deforestation from agriculture, in particular cross-sectoral dialogue between COAG and COFO. Continuing work to help countries build capacity for forest monitoring and inventory, including increasing their ability to report to the FRA and the work on primary forests. The sustainable use of forest products, forest restoration and afforestation, and for the first time environmental justice or equity, diversity, and inclusion. That is to say how countries are addressing environmental programming and services for historically underserved or vulnerable communities uh, that was also raised. And I see that these priorities overlap in large part with other regional commissions, which is a very welcome development. The backbone of the FAF, uh, NAFC remains its eight working groups where collaborative research helps inform policy in all three countries. Working group topics range from invasive species to forest genetic resources to wildland fire and silviculture. Their work directly contributes to global forest goals, the sustainable development goals, the Paris Agreement, and more recent commitments such as the Glasgow Leaders Declaration on Forests and Land Use. A final point of interest was the high level of attention on forests internationally. We're in unprecedented times with respect to the level of concern regarding forests and forest management, and we welcome that attention. At the same time, a proliferation of initiatives aiming at halting deforestation risks duplication of effort or dilution of key messages. This is where FAO and the CPF can play an important role as both a bridge between the forest and agriculture sectors, as well as program delivery agents with open channels of communication. And we cordially invite other regional commission chairs to sit in on NAFC commissioner or board or alter alternate meetings to improve collaboration across regions.